Well, to get a bit more analysis here, let's go uh, to uh, France's space correspondent in Toulouse, Christopher Bachmann. Christopher, who is joined by Philippe Perrin, a former French astronaut who went to the ISS. Welcome to both of you. Indeed. Thanks, Philippe. Thank you, Ginny. So, indeed, you were up there, like 200 miles up in 2002. We're looking at Apollo 11 here. I kind of feel like we've done this. Why are we doing this again? You and me maybe have done it because we were uh, we are old enough uh, to witness it a long time ago. But uh, we have a new generation. I would call it the Artemis generation of uh, kids and uh, and young uh, and young adults who have never experienced such a thing. So first, it's worth doing it again, and then we'll do it uh, we'll do it again and stay there for a while, and we'll be able to do science much more than uh, they were able at the Apollo time. And third, uh, we're going to go there with the technology that's able to go beyond and uh, much further beyond. I mean, going to Mars and going uh, to maybe an asteroid. But the bottom line is, how soon can we actually get to Mars? It's still a long way off, even though we're excited about what's happening today. Yes, that's why we just have to develop the technology. It's a matter of technology. If we go there with the current uh, technology is going to take six months to go to Mars, six, six months to stay there and six months to come back, like in the movie. Uh, that's way too, too long. So we have to wait for the new technology to be able to go to Mars. So let's go first to the moon and learn about how to handle radiation, how to work uh, away from uh, planet Earth without the uh, immediate support from, uh, from planet Earth. And that's already plenty that we can learn going to the moon. Last question, the role of the Europeans, are, do they actually, are they figure makers, are, are they actually real participants or are they just going to have a uh, small role? Uh, nobody realizes yet how critical is basically uh, the path that uh, Euro the European technology is taking on this mission. Uh, will be critical in any single uh, boost from the moment the vehicle is on the trajectory going to the moon. So coming back from the moon is basically up to uh, European technology. Great, Philippe. So, Philippe, astronaut in France who was up on the ISS in 2002 would obviously like to be back in this mission, but <laughs> probably not right now. So, the key moments are in that 2.30 French time, which is what, just over less, just over two hours from now. And this is a 40-day mission before the craft comes back to Earth. And then, of course, in 2025, we'll actually have humans back on the moon if everything goes to plan today. Thank you, Thank you Chris.